Well, joining us live from Paris now is Jude Finisterra. He's a spokesman for Dow Chemicals. Today, I'm very happy to announce that for the first time, Dow is accepting full responsibility for the Bhopal catastrophe. This interview was inaccurate. The hoax was an elaborate one. The prank knocked 3% of Dow shares. Well, I wouldn't say it's a hoax. It's an honest representation of what Dow should be doing. Louisiana officials are taken for a ride by the Yes Men. The Yes Men? The Yes Men travel the world pulling pranks at corporate events. My name is Fred. I'm from Halliburton. My name is Francisco Guerrero. I'm Northrop Goody. I'm with the World Trade Organization. Rastus Hand is going to be speaking. Ooh. Sick. Twisted. I say you're a liar. My name's Mike. I'm Andy. <laughs> This is a movie in which the two of us fix the world. Do you want something that's going to be able to save a human being no matter what Mother Nature throws at him? And so this is the Halliburton Survivor Ball. We'll be happy to take any questions. Four billion people would starve, and starving would become the new black. Okay, expecting the next knock at the door to be Dow's lawyer. No idea what Dow will do. They threatened us. I'm, I'm being. Uh, you, why, you, are you allowed to do that to me? to the Gulf Coast Reconstruction Conference, and CNN is going to be covering it live. ExxonMobil is earmarking $8.6 billion to finance wetlands rebuilding. You did pull off a heck of a hose. Thank you. Maybe it'll take a whole slide deal to bring them out here to see what we're going through. I thought that was a wonderful thing to do. This is actually truth-telling where normally there would only be lies. If you could demonstrate the turtle position, please, that would be great.